Every fly angler has a list. A list of destinations or species of fish to catch. For years I've heard of guys catching mako sharks on the fly. For years, it's been on my list. Off the coast of San Diego, California, lies one of the world's best mako fisheries. For me and a couple of my buddies, we decided to give it a shot. We somehow lucked into Captain Mark Martin of San Diego Saltwater Fly Fishing, and our adventure began. Mark really went the extra mile for us. In fact, before our flight had even left Salt Lake City, Mark was awake, on his boat, with a bucket of chum, a buoy, and some brightly colored blooms. He left that bucket of chum in the ocean, giving us a head start on establishing a chum slick. Now a chum slick is needed in order to get sharks within range of a fly. Chum slick consists of chum, an electronic pulsating device called a mako magnet, which attracts sharks for miles around. At least, that's the hope. To add to our adventure, we saw over 20 dolphins, 4 whales, and a very playful sea lion while waiting for sharks to come into range. Every guide develops the ability to teach others the skill set necessary to be successful. What I didn't mention earlier is that neither of my friends are avid anglers. In fact, Greg had never cast a fly rod in his life. So the fact that Mark had both of them throwing a 12 weight with a giant fly on the end of it within 10 minutes of beginning was impressive. Being the noble friends that we are, at the beginning of our trip we had decided that Greg, the true beginner, would get the first shot at a Mako. So there we sat, rods at the ready, with our chump slick doing all the work. And then it happened. After Greg's premature release, our day quickly came to an end, and that's when we realized that our excitement and our anticipation throughout the day hadn't come from fishing for an apex predator, but rather, it was the thrill of the hunt. <laughs>